Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. And in this video, I'm going to give some of the reasons as to why engineering is in the top five degrees for millionaires in the US. So let's get started. Okay, so if you follow my channel, um, you've obviously seen previous videos where I've talked about my financial journey and more specifically, my goal of becoming financially independent. Now, obviously, because of this, I have, you know, gone online to get some references and resources and you know, gather information about how I could achieve this goal. And obviously I've come across one of the famous financial gurus, Dave Ramsey, who has this philosophy of never going into debt. Well, he has also done a survey on 10,000 plus, I think around that number, you could double check, but around 10,000 plus millionaires asking them various questions, if they gain their wealth by themselves or if they inherited it, uh, if they ever bought an, a new car, you know, so on and so forth. And one of those questions he asks is, what was your degree when you went to college? And the majority of the answers, at least in the top five, was engineering. I think that was number one or two, but he did a post on this. And people may wonder, well, okay, I guess I could see an engineer becoming a millionaire because they have a higher paying salary, but why isn't a doctor number one? Or why isn't someone who has a PhD above engineering? And so I just like to kind of give my reasonings as to why that's the case. And I've kind of narrowed it down based on my own personal experiences and what I've learned from engineers around me. So with that, I'm going to get to it. The number one reason why I think most millionaires in the US have an engineering degree is because they have the grit and determination required to become a millionaire. It is the hardest subject in college. So you obviously have to go through some really tough classes. And the fact that you're able to go through those classes and get a bachelor's degree or master's degree really shows that you are a hard worker, you're very disciplined, and you obviously have the grit to, to push through those classes because they are not easy. They're very difficult. So if you want to become a millionaire, you just have to live on less than you earn and whatever's left over, you have to invest that amount. So it's very straightforward. It isn't too complicated, but it is difficult to do because you have to have that discipline to get that extra money and put it away into an investment, whether it's a brokerage or a Roth IRA or a 401k. Yes, it's very easy to do all of that. You just press a button to transfer the money or you press a button to invest in some stocks, but it's hard to actually do that because you have to do it, you know? You know it's very simple and easy to do and you can easily just think, okay, well, that's actually not that bad. I could do that tomorrow or I could do that later. Or it's only five minutes, I could do that. And you just keep on pushing it off, pushing it off and you never actually do it. So you have to make sure it's a priority. It's just getting to do them that's difficult and being consistent with it. So being an engineer, that really shows that you have that discipline. So you'll obviously have the discipline to save money and build wealth. This leads me to my next reason and this is from watching other engineers and also, you know, going into engineering school myself is that to always have a plan. Most engineers always have plans and they always have to write up some sort of a some sort of a documentation on what they plan to do or what they're currently doing so that they're able to stay on track and get the project done or the homework assignment done. In order to create a project and to make it work, you have to make sure that the very beginning, the fundamental part of that project is working and it's correct. So you have to go through all of the steps that are required to make that beginning process work and then you go on to the next thing. Now that goes hand in hand with building wealth because you have to plan out how much you will be spending and how much you'll be saving. All of that involves being able to see the end goal and know where you're at currently and your progress and how to measure that. So if you're an engineer, then you're more likely to build wealth because you have that plan. You have been programmed to go off of plans and go off of structure and do A, B, C. You don't do C and then A and then B because that won't work, the plan will not work. You can't go and spend $50,000 in one year and then expect to save $51,000. I mean, it just wouldn't work like that. That math does not work. So you have to plan ahead. You have to plan for saving, okay, 20% of your income. Um, and then whatever's left over, you can spend that. You have to have structure in your life in order to build wealth. And engineers fortunately have that. They've learned that through their education. Now, the next reason why I think engineering is one of the top five degrees for most millionaires in the US is because they are used to math 
And what I mean by that is they're used to calculating those numbers. They're used to crunching numbers. And so when they are exposed to that with finances or financing or saving money, that all involves math and calculation. And they're comfortable with that because they've only been doing it for the past at least four or five years as a student and then now as an engineer. So it's not uncomfortable for them to be exposed to that because they've dealt with much harder and difficult problems before. And being able to understand the finances like that and the math makes it that much easier for them to start saving money and building wealth. Um, on the other hand, if you were someone who is an art degree, that's that's a great thing. I mean, it's not bad to have an art degree. It just focuses more on the creativity of someone and what they see and how they perceive the world, whatever it is, but they don't ever have exposure to math and numbers. And when they are exposed to financing, they're uncomfortable with it because they're not used to it. And so they could easily withdraw from it because it's it's foreign to them. You know, it's, it's, it makes them uncomfortable. So they will less likely be able to build wealth. Now, I'm not saying it's impossible i'm just saying that majority of them would probably shy away from finances and thus won't be building wealth number four and this is more of a personal one i think this is something that i've seen in other engineers and probably in myself is that engineers like to challenge themselves those engineers who major in engineering um, not for the fact that they like building circuits or that they actually like writing software programs but those who go into engineering um, mainly because they want to challenge themselves. And this reason is something that I had fallen into, uh, not on purpose, because my dad was an electrical engineer and it was something that I was familiar with. So I wasn't as um, uh, afraid or as intimidated by majoring in engineering. But as I got further along in my degree, probably junior, senior year, and especially as an intern, there were a lot of times where I struggled and a lot of times where I just cried and I just felt like I was going to fail the test or fail the class and I would have to redo it. But then again, I still pushed through it and I tried to do everything I could to pass the class. And once I did, I felt a lot more confident in myself and I realized, wow, I can actually do more than what I ever thought I could. And by the end of senior year, I'm like, shoot, well, why not go for my master's? You know, I need my master's for my job anyway, so let's see if I can't just get an A in all of them. It's more of an intrinsic motivation for me to keep going and to do better and uh, to just be able to prove to myself that I can do these things. And so I think a lot of those engineers who go into engineering because they wanna challenge themselves are a lot more likely to build wealth because they think at the end of the day, oh shoot, well I just completed uh, bachelor's in engineering that one of the toughest courses in college why can't I just build wealth why can't I make a million dollars why can't I make a million dollars in the next 10 years what's stopping me if I could do this why can't I go and build wealth I mean it seems like it's a lot easier than engineering right so they obviously have that intrinsic motivation in them to just challenge themselves all of that really helps with them actually building wealth and becoming a millionaire the last reason why I think engineering degrees are more common in millionaires in the US is because some of the engineers don't like being an engineer. Um, now this is a personal, definitely a personal opinion right here. I majored in computer engineering. I'm currently an engineer and I had learned in my internship that I don't like it. I do not like being an engineer at all. And yes, I said in a previous video that I do like doing the work I'm doing as an engineer. I do like programming and coding. Um, everything that I'm doing right now, I like it. But the main reason why I like it is because I'm working from home. I don't have to go into the office and uh, talk to other coworkers and you know uh, mingle with them and and you know go into those conference meetings uh, face to face and all of that. I don't have to do that. I could just do it all virtually, and that is a huge win for me. That is what makes me continue doing what I'm doing. Um, so in the back of my mind, I always think, okay, well, this is just because of the pandemic. The only reason why you're working from home is because of the pandemic. So if that's over, when that is over, um, I may be going back into work. I may be going back into the office like I was as an intern and I hated it as an intern. So I know for a fact, I will not like going back. I will not be able to stand a week and that's 
something that's always motivated me to continue making um, extra money on the side, uh, whether it be from part-time job or maybe even applying to new jobs that are just fully remote work. Whatever it is to build more wealth so that I'm financially independent so that I do not have to be an engineer. I do not have to go and program every day or I do not have to go into the office. And so I find it interesting because not wanting to be an engineer and not working as an engineer really motivates me to build wealth and to save money. That is like the one motivating factor that I have and the reason why I am pushing so hard at such a young age to make as much as I can and become financially dependent as soon as possible. Maybe most other engineers feel the same way or those who don't like what they do and they don't really go into engineering because they want to challenge themselves. They just went into it because uh, they want to make money you know um, they are those who don't want to be an engineer anymore and just having that initial reason and motivation to go into engineering to begin with which is to build wealth they're going to continue that you know because they don't want to be an engineer forever so they're going to do anything they can to build as much money as possible and of course that loops back to the first one all engineers have the dedication and grit to build the wealth so all you need is just that initial motivation and uh, want to build the wealth. I may be wrong about that reason and if I am then shoot That's just my own opinion and if you don't like it or you have another one then please let me know in the comments below I would actually love to hear your feedback about that one um, And to see what else you guys think about that. So yeah, those are all the reasons why I think engineering degrees are in the top five for most uh, millionaires in the US and I hope you guys found this useful and helpful in any way. And if you did, please give this video a like and subscribe if you would like to see more. Um, also, please share if you think someone else would benefit from this video. But yeah, if you guys have any other video suggestions or ideas or anything else you would like to mention, um, again, please leave that in the comments below and I'll definitely give it a read. So thank you for watching. Bye.